CMD Boxing Reports. This is Bronell Hick reporting here, and I'm back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. So, damn, man. The return of Badu Jack. Yeah, man. It might not look all that pretty. I mean, Badu Jack is talking about coming back as a cruiser weight. Now, when he moved up from 168 super middleweight to light heavyweight, he didn't bring that punching power with him, okay? I mean, we all know he was looking good at 168 and super middleweight. Maybe he left because, you know, the younger Lions, like, you know, David Benavidez was looking through dangerous form, right? So he didn't want no, none of that smoke. So, of course, Lee, you know, he moved up to uh, 175, but that was done because there's a lot of, you know, beast at 175 as well, okay? I understand, you know, he went up against Adonis Stevenson, who was you know, known as a puncher, but looked how he performed in that fight. Okay, uh, there was a draw. Now, some some say that uh, you know Adonis Stevenson won. Some say it, it could have went to uh, Badu Jack, but to me, uh, it was correctly a draw. All right. Now, to me, man, in his last fight, the way he looked. Okay. And now, I understand a lot of people say he starts off slow anyway. Well, right, cool. He starts off slow in his last fight, and he was slow throughout the entire night until he got stopped, all right? And with that seriously, I mean, real bad cut, you know, on his forehead, that was stupid of, you know, his corner to let that fight continue. I mean, it's all that hype. Oh, well, his, you know, corner man, his cut man is one of the best in the world, man. Please, he couldn't stop that. That was a ugly cut. They should have forfeited the fight anyway. I mean, there was nothing really Badu Jack could have done. I mean, he couldn't go out there and knock out Marcus Brown. No, I mean, Marcus Brown's beating him to the punch all night. You know, shoot, it was Marcus Brown who looked like he was about to knock out Badu Jack. Look. <laughs> Badu Jack's reflexes is slowing. You know, he's, he's getting older, okay? His reflexes and everything, they're simmering down, okay? He, he's not that, you know, 25-year-old dude he used to be. Of course, he's 35 now, right? So, with him moving up to cruiserweight, that's just suicide, all right? Now, what he's saying, Badu Jack, that is, that he wants to return late this summer he don't care who it's against rather he return as a cruiserweight or he returns in in a rematch with marcus uh brown which you know i think the fight will go the same way you know depending you know you know depending on badu jack's age and whatnot with him taking on you know such a young lion in uh marcus brown and plus, at like 175, man, you have some uh, seriously punches now. He wants a big uh, fight. And the only big fight Badu Jack could get is with those big powerful punchers like Sergey Kovalev, Bivolve, and uh, Better Beat It, uh, Better Beat It, uh, Beat It, excuse me, <laughs> still kind of early here. But Better Beef, okay? I said Better Beef, that if I got David Benavidez on, still in my mind there. But yeah. You know, those guys there will do the same thing that Marcus Brown. I mean, I, I can't see Badu Jack beating any of these dudes right now. Not even uh, Bivol, okay? I mean, uh, Badu Jack may have the experience and whatnot, yeah. But he don't have the reflexes, okay? Like I said, them bad boys is leaving. Now, if he wants to move back down to 168, because with him moving up and up, it's... It's not getting him anywhere. But if he wants to move back down to 168, where it all started from, hey, I'm cool with it. Hey, at least he did, you know, give it a shot and move up. You know, he didn't spend all his career in one division, you know. Yeah, move back down to 168, he can fight uh, another one where, where there's a, I'm sorry, there's a good fight from at 168 with Anthony Durrell, okay? Like him and Anthony Durrell, are like in the same category, okay? Like Anthony Durrell, he's definitely on his way out. Like I can't see Anthony Durrell going up against David Benavidez and winning, all right? I can't see Badu Jack 
going up against David Benavidez and winning, right? Look, the clock is, is ticking. You know, not only is ticking, but it's also talking. Look, guys, times is up. You know, what these, what fighters like them reminds me of is like some of the people who I see, you know, in my neighborhood. Like, you know, you got guys my age, okay, or a little older who still dress like they're 21 from 20 years ago, all right? Like, like this is still the 90s. I get, still got the big hats, the do-rags with the, you know, the, I don't know where they get them baggy pants from. But they be rocking them too with Timberland boots. And they just look so out of style, man. Like, man, look, you're older now. I mean, I understand in your mind, you may feel young. But if you really look at yourself, man, yo, you really look out of place, man. You need to trust your age, okay? And... With this boxing, it's the same exact thing. I mean, look, when, when your body says it's enough, it is enough. All right. Now, I know some may say, well, George Foreman, he came back at 42 and, and knocked out Michael Mora and became heavyweight champion again. Yeah. But, you know, if you look at that, that fight, Michael Moore was outboxing uh, George Foreman. But the only thing that George Foreman has, you know, in that fight that got him that belt was power. And that's something that Badu Jack doesn't have. Like he don't have one punch knockout power. That he could knock out guys like uh, Bivolve or Better Beev or um, Sergey Kovalev, okay? Now, I understand Sergey Kovalev, they say he, like he on his way out, but nah, Sergey Kovalev, he may not be the crusher, but now he's like showcasing superior boxing skills. We've seen him in the rematch with uh, Alvarez, okay? I mean, he outboxed the Cuban boxer Alvarez, okay? Beat him to the punch all night, backed him up. He still got that punching power. That means it may not be the one punch, punching power that we're used to seeing, you know, from like five, 10 years ago, but it's still there. That boxers, you know, show him respect. Okay, and like I said, that's something that Badu Jack don't have. Now, if he wants to stay at 175, all right, let's say he want to take on some of the top contenders. Let's say guys like Joe Smith Jr., Sullivan Barrera, Alina Alvarez. Now, I understand all three of these guys lost fights, but with him taking on these three or one of the three will make sense because with two, with both guys, with two fighters. All right, who lost their last fight? Putting them in the ring with each other, we'll know who stays and who go. All right. Most likely, if Badu Jack versus Joe Smith Jr., Joe Smith Jr. will win, and it'll be time for Badu Jack to hang it up. That's two losses in a row. Sullivan Barrera, same thing. If Badu Jack loses, okay, it's time to hang him up. Their leader Alvarez, Badu Jack loses. It's time to hang him up. Okay, look, you lost two fights in a row. Okay, and you know, you, you were coming in, taking on uh, someone else who had lost. They proved their point that they can stay in this sport. And it's time for you to hang up the gloves. Okay, I really see, you know, no reason for the guy to continue. Like like I said, it's, it's time for him to hang him up. So anyways, uh, that's my take on this. This is CMD Boxing Reports, and I'll catch you on the next.